Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rod here from Rod Tarot and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising Weekly Tarot reading August 6 to August 12, 2018 Before we start with the reading guys, I want to remind you that the August monthly videos are already up on the channel so you can feel free to browse your Sun, Moon and Ascendant sign and be forewarned, watch them you know and be forewarned for what is to come in month of August so that being said, going to the spread for the week uh, directly, uh, the first card that we do have which represents the topic for your week, that is going to be the Six of Swords, followed by the core of the situation here which is the Ten of Pentacles, challenges to be overcome, that is going to be the King of Swords. And the last card represents the guidance that you should follow from Tarot. This is the Tree of Swords. Very peculiar reading. Now, for what it seems, you are going to search a way to incorporate some sort of a resources. And resources does not mean only money. It does mean um, as well time. It does mean effort. Or in many cases as well for Gemini, it will mean trust. So you will have an interaction with a person which uh, physically, uh, and under physically I don't mean sex or anything, but I do mean, uh, for example, that person presents you with an, an idea, you know, approach you with a proposition, etc, etc. This is what I mean physically here. Uh, it's going to be uh, very good on paper, alright, but something in it is going to bug you. I mean, uh, and the first uh, kind of like a red flag that you're going to see is that this particular proposition, paper, you know, or an approach, etc, etc, uh, it's kind of tides you up in the sense of that depraves you from a certain, uh, to, to a certain extent from your freedom. So it kind of puts you into a, a state of obligations. And it's going to be very hard for you to kind of like a find a balance here in that particular week, you know, how you can take advantage, you know, of this proposition or, you know, or an, an idea uh, and with the same, uh, with the same time to maintain your code of conduit, to maintain your uh, daily routine and in generally to maintain your life because it's going, this, this particular new enterprise is going to kind of uh, change a lot of things around you and that is displayed here with the six of swords which represents that you are on a on a, a threshold of making a, a step toward the unknown you know forcing a, a transition in your life now uh, it is okay to be scared about it because uh, the six of swords also imp imp implicates fear to what you are known, but uh, you have to think carefully what is there to lose if you do that step, step because in 99% of the time the Six of Swords represents no risk whatsoever and the um, the fear that you do have toward that making that step and forcing the transition is rather more imaginatory than, than real. So, uh, and as soon as that transition starts taking place, it is uh, most usual that you are going to start feeling that your circumstances are improving, either relationship or either career-wise. Now, the thing that we do have here, however, is the person that is making that proposition. That could be into your career, that could be into your relationship, you know, this proposition could be as well... Um, <clears throat> Uh, made from your partner or a person of interest, etc., etc., because we do have the King of Swords. Your suspicion that this person uh, is not telling you everything, it is correct. And the person has a certain surreptitious intentions. Now, how big those intentions are will depend on your personal situation with that, with that guy or a girl, because that could be a, a woman as well. But you need to know that their aim or kind of like the end goal of, uh, of that guy or a girl is to obtain a certain amount of power over you, over, the, over your actions, or uh, the worst case scenario over life, over your life. Now, they are very sweet talkers, uh, very convincing talkers, excuse me, with a little candor behind their words, however. I mean, they are capable to twist words, they are capable to, to twist truths, and they are 
exceptionally skilled in presenting fictions as facts. So you have to be very careful. Now you need to know that whatever they are presenting to you is um, is good, all right? It, it's definitely worth exploring. But what they don't tell you is um, what they are going to gain from it. Because it's going to seem that it is only for your benefit. And that's not true. So you have to be uh, very elaborative about, uh, you know, what is in it for you. And I mean, and under you, I mean that person, when they approach you with this enterprise and this idea, ask them, okay, so what is it in, uh, what is in it for you, you know? Because as I said, it's, it will seem that it is uh, out of charity and that guy or a girl does not do anything uh, for a charity. They, uh, they don't care also about money. They care only about power, only about control, uh, only about connection. So you have to be careful with them. And at the end that we do have the Three of Swords, a little bit off topic here, which is the guidance that you should uh, follow. And it's kind of linked with the Six of Swords. It represents the poignant experience that you may had in the past, making such kind of a transition back there you know stepping toward the unknown and when we do have the tree of swords uh, this is a about healing so uh it does look like that you did not overcome you know the past poignant um feelings of a failure maybe or the, the things are didn't turn out your way and now this week is a time to give it a second chance you know to confront your fear of failing again and do something about it because doing nothing for sure is not going to improve anything and by doing something definitely has a chance in a big one looking at these cards to improve your circumstances so be brave gemini's that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading, August 6th to August um, 12th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.